Okay. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel here at Crypto Nation. Hey, I just want to say, hey, thank you to all my recently new subscribers. Hey, if you're new here, it's totally free. Go ahead and um, subscribe. And please don't forget for everybody to hit that like button. It's totally free. It's help, help the information get out there uh, with crypto. But anyways, here we have it. Um, we, we're now down to 119 days um, for the Bitcoin halving. 119 days, four hours, five minutes, and about seven, eight seconds in, in milliseconds. Uh, but, but by the time you guys see this video, it'll be down to probably about maybe down to like maybe one minute or or whatever uh but anyways yeah 119 days all together but we're, so we're getting closer and closer to that bitcoin having which is uh what it says here estimated having date a they're saying april 17th is the is the having date so yeah so that's going to be about the middle just past the middle of april but where because somebody said it was the it was the end it, it'll be the end of, of March or the first week of April, but uh, this clock is showing April 17th, which is the middle of April. But somebody can comment below. Let me know. Maybe you could, you know the, the exact date of the having. But according to this, it says April uh, 17th. But there we have it. 119 days. And it looks like Bitcoin is kind of uh, bounced back. Bitcoin is now back over 43K. It's up in a one hour. It's up one percent. The twenty. It's up over two percent in the twenty four hour. The seven day, and the seven day is up five percent. So it looks like Bitcoin is trying to rebound. We actually pulled all the way back down to like forty k. You know, like the high forty k's. But we're back up. The it looked like we could hit hit head back up to forty four k. Maybe we'll hit forty five k this time. But you know, who knows? I, we we could possibly see that. You know, that Santa rally. You know, maybe we'll get that that Santa rally. Who knows? That'd be nice if we do. Uh, wow, Solana's at $78, doing good. It, it bounced back. It's back to 78 Wow. It, I remember it pulled back to like 69 or something like that. Um, XRP, still sitting at 61 about 60 61 cents. XRP's been moving real slow. Um, XRP just hasn't been pumping. I, I guess I guess XRP's going to get their day one day. X, XRP will eventually, I guess, get their day. Um, USDC, Cardano's at $0.60. Cents. Uh, it's doing its thing. Got Avalanche, all the major cryptos. Avalanche up 12% in the seven day. Um, we uh, here we have Chainlink. Chainlink is at four. Well, it looks like Chainlink has been sitting at about what 13, 14 for a while. So yeah, Chainlink is at. Honestly, man, I think I think Internet Computer is gonna flip Chainlink eventually. That that market cap right now for Chainlink is at eight eight. What's that eight billion market cap? But walk my words, internet people just f finally starting to realize it. I believe that eventually, I believe that internet computer will flip Chainlink. Honestly, I would have thought that Chainlink would have been up to twenty dollars by now, but it's still sitting at about that between between thirteen and fifteen dollars. It hasn't really pumped that much. Uh, the seven days showing it like up one percent, up two percent, and the over two percent in the twenty four to one hour point eight one. But but like I said, I believe that internet computer will flip Chainlink. Internet computer is the world uh, computer. It's amazing to what it what it does. It's just you can go on and on, but it's ranked 13. Uh, Internet computer. They got Internet computer ranked as number 20. Look at that market cap. The market cap for Internet computer is at four four dollars. Oh, I said four dollars. Excuse me, four billion. Hold on. What was that? Oh, hold on. What's that market cap for Chainlink again? Okay, eight billion. Okay, their market cap is eight billion. But like I said, the internet computer will flip Chainlink. It will flip it, and it's gonna happen in the bull run. <laughs> people, because like I said, a lot of people's catching on. There's V Chain. Wow, V Chain is up twenty percent in the seven days. The twenty up over the last twenty four hours is up thirteen percent. The one hour is down point eight three percent. Chainlink is gonna do very well. I mean, V Chain is gonna do very well. I did the video on it yesterday. I, matter of fact, I just did a tweet to my portfolio actually. I had 340 ICP and I sent 40 of my ICP. I converted it into VThor. VThor is, is actually kind of pumping right now. VThor is the is the brother coin to VChain. VChain is the native token and VThor is the is they use VThor to help actually the operator run the blockchain. But VThor is at I got in at about point at oh, oh, excuse me. I'll just say about 22% of opinions that I got in. Which is about it was a little bit over eight hundred dollars worth with the four my forty ICP that I sent over and I thought that was a good play that I did but I'm still holding about three hundred ICP and my three hundred ICP I'm gonna 
definitely going to hold that long term by uh, my ICP. That's going to be a hold that until like 2025 or even even in the, by the middle of 2025. That's how long I hold my ICP. ICP is going to flip everything, bro. Well, probably not everything, but it's going to flip a lot of these other alts. It's going to flip them, including Chainlink. Um, don't get me wrong. Chainlink is a great project, but like I said, Internet Computer is is the one. So look at all these other cryptos, but there we have it. You know, uh, it looked like the market is trying to bounce back. We, You know, the, the, the crypto market traded sideways. The crypto market traded sideways. Um, it traded sideways over the last 24 hours. Yeah, it traded sideways. Uh, but here there's Bunk Coin. It looked like Bunk Coin was up 87% in the seven day. 24 over the past 24 hours is down 2%. The one hour is up 0.2%. So it's at 18%. It's at four zeros 18. Let's see if Bunk can um let's see what happens with Bunk Coin, Meme Coin. Like I said, um, I threw hundred dollars in that last week. I think it was was it like yep, last Friday I threw hundred dollars in there. And but I I, I got in a little late. I ain't gonna lie, I got in it late. I got in at it was around 20 around 20 think seven or 28 percent of four zeros 26 27 is when i got in but it's all good um i'm gonna this this is gonna be a, a 2024 hold I only put 100 that was 100 dollars. i was just willing to throw away the market cap is at 1.1 billion uh yeah bond coin but i believe bond coin is gonna hit it is gonna have another major run in 2024 but like i said i believe that bond coin could possibly lose lose two more zeros in the bull run could, they could lose three but let's see uh, you know, kind of doing an experiment when I threw that hundred dollars in, maybe I could turn that hundred dollars in the, in the 10k in the bull run. Let's see. But that's definitely just a long term hold. I just that's just an extra play that I added to my portfolio with that bond coin and only put a hundred dollars in there. I don't know. Maybe I average down and buy more. Maybe maybe I maybe I can pick up more uh, bond coin and since it went down. I don't know, but I'll I'll see eventually. I'll see. Uh, but anyways, uh, Qcoin token. There's all your you know favorite cryptos but anyways that's what's going on we got the bitcoin having look like the market is trying to update look well bitcoin is pumping we i'm thinking bitcoin could hit 44k today from the way it's looking if it keeps pumping if we can we can get back up to we haven't back up been back up to 44k in what a couple it's been what a couple of weeks since the last time we was at 44k maybe the way the market is looking maybe bitcoin is, is, is heading up to 47k we'll see you know, if we hit that 45K, that's going to look real nice. If Bitcoin hit that 45K, 45, 46K range, that'll look real nice. Uh, but anyways, that's my quick update. What's going on with the market? We look like we're bouncing back. Uh, Christmas is on. What's, when is Christmas? Yep, Christmas is on Monday. So let's see. Let's see. We're, we're, let's see if this is the beginning of the Christmas rally. We get a nice Christmas rally. That will be nice. Uh, let's see. And like I said, mark your calendars, January 10th. January 10th is the big day. January, what day is January 10th? January 10th is on a Wednesday. The middle of the week is on a Wednesday. That's going to be the f final deadline of the Spy Bitcoin ETF. I heard somebody was saying that there, there was another, somebody was saying there was another um, update, but uh, but we'll see. Somebody was saying there was another update. Oh, excuse me, what am I saying? Update. Somebody was saying that there could have been another deadline until March. But I highly believe that this this final deadline, January 10th, is it's going to finally get approved. Honestly, I think it's already up. They're already approved. They just haven't made it public yet because uh, it's, it's up to 12. Come to find out up to 12 different companies um, apply for that spot. Bitcoin ETF, including and I'm hearing that BlackRock, they also apply for the Ethereum spot ETF. I'm telling you guys, the supply for Bitcoin is going to It's a matter of fact, there's not going to be enough Bitcoin to go around. You got 12 major financial institutions applying for the spy bitcoin etf when you add that to the bitcoin having in april bitcoin is gonna it's gonna get scarce man it's gonna get scarce that's why it's gonna that's why i can see a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin by by this summer i'll say by june and july we could possibly see a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin and then by by next by 2025 beginning of 2025 we could possibly see a two hundred thousand bitcoin maybe 150 to two hundred thousand bitcoin by 2025 i'm telling you man this this is going to get crazy, man. This I'm telling you, this is going to be our last opportunity to make life changing money. This is this is literally going to be the great reset. When they talk about the great reset, this is it, guys. This is it right here. So make make sure you everybody get their bags ready. I know my bags are ready. My portfolio is all set already. 
pretty pretty much for me. All I got to do is just sit back and just, you know, uh, sit back and get my popcorn. That's all I got to do. Um, but yeah, uh, hope everybody's in the right place, make the right decisions. But it's it's going to be so much opportunities to make money in this crypto market. A lot of these cryptos are just going to go crazy, man. A lot of them are going to go crazy. Uh, but yeah, uh, and I'm and I'm always looking for new gems, uh, new altcoins that's, that can possibly. Um, I'm telling you, the low caps are going to be the ones to get to get into those, those those like especially the layer ones, the layer ones, low caps. Man, I'm just I, I love those, you know. Um, but anyways, that's my um, update. Hope everybody have a great Wednesday. I will see you guys in the next uh, video. Like I said, don't forget to um, hit that like button and. And uh, if you're new here, subscribe. You hit the like button. It's totally free of charge. Hey, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, take care.